you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of his glory divine. I'm an heir of salvation purchased of God, born of his spirit and washed in his blood. Good morning, saints of God. Once again, this is Pastor Bruce of Community Temple of Stanford, the Life Church, <clears throat> where Bishop Michael D. Densmore is our senior pastor. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I thank God for another day. I thank God for this day because I know that the presence of the Lord is here. And everybody's coming in. Good morning, Sister Rhonda Gale, Patricia. God bless you, Sister Sandra. Amen. Come on in this morning, invite and share. <clears throat> Excuse my, vo my voice. I'm still recovering from a cold and my throat is a little raw. But I just thank God for everybody coming into the table this morning. Amen. I believe in this short period of time that we're going to make a difference in somebody's life. We're going to help somebody. Amen. To get over that little hill that the enemy throws in our way, that mountain. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Good morning, Brother Aaron. God bless you. Pastor McMichael. Amen. Come on in. I'm glad everybody's coming in <clears throat> a little bit early because we want God to have his way. And I believe God is going to touch somebody this morning because it's, it's what we're going to do is so important. As I said, Tuesday, we're going to pray this morning with our brothers and sisters at the table. And as always, if you're from another part of the country, another part of the world, come in, let us know. Amen. We're all connected by the spirit of the living God. And I thank God for his precious Holy Ghost. I can never say enough about the Holy Spirit and his ministry and, and his binding us together and his leading us and teaching us and bringing us into all truth. Hallelujah. Thank God for his plan of salvation that we can all, amen, have a hope, amen, that we will meet and see each other again hallelujah if something happens god forbid but today is a day that we can be excited about our salvation amen and as always if you woke up this morning you had your first miracle and let me start out like this dear heavenly father god we thank you we thank you for this day we thank you <clears throat> hallelujah for coming together we bind the hands of the enemy, Lord, even as before, we, as we come before you, God, we want to be right. We ask that you wash us in your precious blood, cleanse us from every sin, iniquity, anything that would hinder the prayers of your people. As we come together, God, I pray, Lord, that you get all the glory and that we pray according to your will. Hallelujah. That you be glorified in everything that's said and done this morning. God, just have your way. And I thank you for another day. Amen. Come on in, invite and share. This is a good time. It's a happy time. The word of God says one can chase a thousand, two can chase 10,000. With all of us together, imagine the damage that we can do to the gates of hell and imagine what we can do for each other. Amen. There's different types of prayer. You know, we have prayer, repentance, prayer for sickness prayer for <clears throat> omissions. And usually when people come together, they think about prayer of intercession. But this morning, this is the prayer. We're going to do the prayer of agreement. Hallelujah. Everything that we do should be based upon the word of God. And I'm, I'm sure I'm going to come back later on to these scriptures as more people come in. Prayer of agreement. Is also known as a corporate prayer, which we are going to do. Matthew 18, 19 through 20. And again, I say unto you, and this is the King James Version, that if you two, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, hallelujah, 
there am I in the midst of them. And let's read it in the New Century Version. Also, I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about something and pray for it, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. This is true because if two or three people come together in my name, I am there with them. And this morning, God is with us. Hallelujah. He's in the midst of us because we're coming together in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're coming together to what? To pray for each other. We're going to ask, I'm going to ask people to put their prayer requests. Remember what I said, we're not so much interceding, but we're going to pray with you. We're going to have the prayer of agreement. Hallelujah. And in agreeing, in, 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 Excuse me. In agreeing, hallelujah, Jesus promised us that our prayers would be answered. Amen. So uh, I'm believing God that we're going to break through this morning. So if you do have a prayer request, let's get started this morning, whatever it may be, so we can pray with you, my brothers and my sisters, because God is ready to answer our prayers. And even right now, I just pray that the heavens are open, that the angels, hallelujah, are fighting, that the prayers can get through speedily, like Daniel. When there's a battle in the third heavens, and hallelujah, the devil will try and slow down your prayers. But we know we have power with God. We have power with agreement. We have power, hallelujah, with the Lord. And I thank God this morning. Come on, let us know. What are we praying for for you this morning? What do you need that we can agree with you? Amen. Hallelujah. Come on in, invite and share this morning. Amen. I believe God for victory. But I am going to say this. I just believe that it's God anoint our faith. Hallelujah. Remember, write your request so we can pray for you this morning. Amen. Um, help Trevon Walker get over the mountain, over the hills of his life. Hallelujah. God, we pray for Trevon Walker right now in the name of Jesus. We ask that you open up the doors. We bind the hands of the enemy. Anything that's hindering. Hallelujah. Most of all, we pray for the peace of God. We agree. Hallelujah. You said in your word that we can have peace in this war. We ask that you touch him and make yourself real in his life. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, as we all pray together for the same thing, the same people. God is moving. Hallelujah. And we know that God is touching people's homes. And, I, and, and I'm going to pray. And, for, I'm, I'm praying against depression. Hallelujah. God will bind depression in people's homes right now. I'm praying that you agree with me so that we can get a breakthrough. It seems like depression is the spirit of depression has come in. Praying for Sister Marion, your sister in law, LaJoya in ICU. God, we pray for your healing virtues right now. Rabbi in the Rabbi name Rabbi. of Jesus, God, hallelujah. We agree also, that you will heal, touch, and Rabbi deliver Rabbi. in this situation. Rabbi. We know that you are a healer, God. We have experience. I have experience with you as a healer, and we're believing it in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on and write your requests. God is here. God, hallelujah. The presence of God is in this place. He's with us this morning. <clears throat> Come on, let's just bind together and unify. Thinking about the Tower of Bible when they were all unified. Jesus took notice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we come to pray for Sister Victoria Williams. Hallelujah against generational curses god you see and you know there's always an intercessor somebody standing in the gap right now lord and we pray with them lord that you break that curse lord and whatever it may be holly hallelujah god we have power we have power with you god break that curse 
Nothing can stand yes, before Lord. the power of God, before the hallelujah, for the presence of God. And let your presence be there in Jesus' name. Amen. Have your way, God. We come against generational curses in all families. Amen. God, hallelujah. Have your way. Have your way. Even this morning, against anything and everything. Hallelujah. Praying for healing for Sister Sarge's pastor, for fast recovery, Lord. And I, the, the scripture came to me as they went, they were healed. Hallelujah. We're believing for healing for her pastor, even right now, whatever it may be, God, just touch the body, touch the heart, like the woman touched the hem of your garment. Let your healing virtues flow in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, Pastor Bennett. Hallelujah. We're praying for him. Whatever the need it may be, God, just have your way. Touch and deliver. Set free today. In your glory. Hallelujah. We agree. Come together as one, unified, knowing that we, we that <clears throat> it's going to be okay because you said in your word. Hallelujah. We come together in your name that you will fulfill each promise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Lakeith, uh, for some reason, God, I pray for her, whatever her need is. God, even right now in our home, God, let your spirit of peace be there. We bind the hands of the enemy right now. Let peace be in every home. Everybody that's on this this morning, God, let the peace of God rest and abide in their home hallelujah my brother asked for wisdom and knowledge and understanding god you said that what we have to do is ask and we're believing that you're going to expand his mind touch his mind god put him in your word god put him on his knees god let his relationship be with you as we agree that he wants to know more of you have the wisdom of heaven we ask that you fulfill his his, his desire in jesus name Amen. Praying for Sister Vanessa, for her relatives and children going away to college. God, we ask that you cover them in the precious blood of Jesus, that you surround them with your angels to protect them and guard them, not just physically, but guard their minds. Let them be able to be influenced with the things of the world, but let them be influenced, hallelujah, by training that you that, that they were brought up. That, you said, um, bring up a child in the way it should go, Lord, and let that stand, oh God. Let the prayers of the righteous stand yeah, around, not just the hug children, but all these children that are going away to college. God, we bind the hands of the enemy. We will not lose our children to the world, but God, you get your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on in. Come on in, saints. Let's bind together. Amen. We have power with god hallelujah amen i'm gonna read it again matthew 18 19 and 20 again i say if two of you agree on earth as touching anything and that's what we're doing this morning we're agreeing and touching together hallelujah whatever your prayer request is how jesus said amen he would be in the midst hallelujah come on in what is it that you need this morning Hallelujah. What is it that you desire that you've been asking God for? Amen. For those who've been asking God for a closer walk, God, we pray that you would open up their hearts and open up their minds. God, make a way for them to come closer to you. Put a, a hungering and a thirsting, thirsting in the people of God. Amen. Sharon Hart. Carolyn Payne, praying for healing in their bodies. Amen. God, you are a healer. We agree. We're praying for Sister Sharon, Sister Carol. Amen. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God, touch their bodies, Lord. Touch their minds and their heart. Most of all, touch their faith to believe, hallelujah, that you are the healer of everything, every disease, in Jesus' name. Amen. Even today, Lord, as we're on together god anoint our faith to believe in what we pray believe in what you said in your word hallelujah because without faith we can't please you and that's our desire this morning is to please our god hallelujah amen god i pray for blessings on on his families that's coming on hallelujah 
that you will even this this holiday weekend god i pray for the families that are traveling that they have traveling mercies amen i pray hallelujah that you will guide them and lead them I'm praying for mental illness this morning god touch the minds god like i said earlier this it's like a spirit of depression and oppressive spirits are coming after your people but lord we stand in the gap today we come against dementia. We come against all these different things. Hallelujah. We ask that you break these things for generational curses even right now as people are coming in. Healing in the body, Sister Crystal. God bless. Touch her, Lord Jesus. Amen. Touch these bodies and touch these families, God. Hallelujah. It's like the enemy is coming in with a flood, but we know that you are greater than any disease, God. Any protect, we're praying for protection, oh, like I said, over our young people, cover them, draw them closer to God, Lord. You said that we, when, when Israel went into the promised land, they went in with their children. They didn't leave their children behind. Amen. Even the air quality today, God, we ask that you cover the lungs of your people, Lord, as people are struggling, <clears throat> struggling with breathing problems, God. We pray together lord that you will heal them that you will cover their lungs amen god we thank you praying for poor hair quality we pray it, it, it may sound silly to some people but the bible says in everything that we, we should pray how you no matter how small it is or how many how big it is amen whatever it is if we come together in agreement Hallelujah. God said that he would answer. Amen. And we believe in that the answer, as as even as, as we pray, like Daniel, as soon as they prayed, the answer was on the way. So we bind the hands of the enemy. We pray to the third heavens, Lord, open up the windows of heaven, God. As you pour in it out, send your holy angels, O oh God so that the prayer answer can come through this morning amen hallelujah everyone everywhere hallelujah we, we pray for all the saints of god amen amen we pray for their strength we pray for their faith but even today we pray hallelujah that the enemy will be bound amen pray for mental health and anxiety as we talked about anxiety we understand that it is a, a, a very prevalent in a lot of people. God, uh, we come against that ain't feeling anxious about going to go do something or, or preparing for something. God, we come against depression, Lord God. Amen. And once again, we bind the hands of the enemy. We pray, Lord, that you will get your glory. The, the, the way to beat anxiety, saints, is to stay in the world, to trust God, to believe in God, amen, knowing that all things work together for the good to those who love God and call according to his purpose, and we all have purpose in God, amen, amen, Sister Victoria, we're going to pray, hallelujah, for our leaders, amen, to hear from Jesus and to speak what the Lord is saying, Hallelujah. The Bible says that in the last days, the very elect would be <clears throat> would be confused. And we're standing in the gap for the leaders today, Lord, that they hear clearly from you, God. God, put your leaders on their knees. Amen. And, and we agree, every person who has a pastor or a bishop, Lord, let us agree today that you're going to do a work in them, that you're going to do uh, a greater work in them that they can lead you lead their people into the that's the promised land but into what you have for that ministry for you what you have for those people to accomplish amen praying for leaders hallelujah praying for the lost soul that uh, the lord will guide you god yes as always lord we we put our children and those that don't know you before you god we agree lord we need a greater move of your spirit god we need greater wisdom how to bring souls into the kingdom god you do it hallelujah god make us seed planters soul winners once again god raise up the armies hallelujah raise up your people amen that we can bring souls into the kingdom because we have the right words we have the 
power. We have what they are looking for, what they need. Amen. And we want to be able to give it out. Hallelujah. Freely we see, freely we give. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The love factor. Amen. God, do a work in your people. Increase the love. Hallelujah. God, let us love on people as never before. Amen. Praying for Sister Inez. Praying for her daughter and granddaughter. Hallelujah. We'll serve the Lord wholeheartedly. Amen. As we stand in the gap, as we stand with her, God, God starts doing a work in their spirit. Let the Holy Spirit start dealing with their hearts and their minds. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, God, do the work that we can't do. Reach the hearts that we can't reach. In the name of Jesus, it is time. We want our children saved. We want our children and grandchildren to enter into the beauty of holiness, the beauty of the salvation. Lord. Have your way today. Come on and invite and share as we're praying the prayer of agreement. Amen. We want to agree with you because the Lord said, if two of us, two or more shall agree on earth, hallelujah, they sh whatever they ask, it shall be done with the Father. Amen. Come on in. Hallelujah. I believe God. I believe God for a breakthrough. Amen. Hallelujah. Some people are struggling in their hearts for some reason we have a heart condition amen and i'm asking god to do a work in our hearts we're holding on to things that we don't need to hold on to hallelujah even if you don't write it i pray that god will break those stony hearts and make them to a heart of love a heart of forgiveness Amen. It doesn't make sense to be in this wonderful walk with God and have your heart contaminated over something that happened years ago or something that even happened yesterday. Hallelujah. Praying for uh, Victoria, Sister Victoria, granddaughter, Sanaya, Sheena. I'm sorry about the name. Hallelujah. She's pregnant. And God, we pray for a uh, 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 healthy pregnancy and all of those who are pregnant right now god we pray lord that your 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 healing virtues will follow them through amen praying for the members of the pilgrim church temple pilgrim temple church amen hallelujah god you see the battle in the church the enemy will try and come in and cause confusion and cause dissension and cause all these different things but as we bind together Lord we pray for your Holy Spirit to come in and get things straight God touch that leader whatever is going on in that church amen God get your glory God let there be a victory and a shout hallelujah of your holiness once again let the holiness and sanctification of the Spirit be in the church amen hallelujah come on in Hallelujah. Put your prayer requests up on so that we can pray with you. Hallelujah. This is the prayer of agreement. Amen. And as we agree, God hears. And as we, God hears, he does. Amen. I'm praying that God will take our faith to another level. Hallelujah. And as I said, the presence of hallelujah, the presence of God is here. Why? Because if two or more, we're all gathered around the breakfast table this morning. Amen. And God, hallelujah, is here with us. Amen. Come on in. Come on in. Let us know. Take advantage of this opportunity that we can all pray together. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Praying for Bishop Densmore and his wife and his family. Even right now, we bind the hands of the enemy. They will not have any control, any power in that family. God, arise in them even the more. Surround them with the blood. Surround them with your angels. Let them war in the spirit. Not just Bishop Densmore, but every bishop, every pastor that's standing in the gap. Hallelujah, God. Surround your angels with them. Hallelujah. And bring down everything that will try and hand them. We come against cancer. God, as we pray today, Lord, we pray 
and agree, God, for those who are struggling in their bodies with cancer, that your healing virtues will show forth the miracles of God. We're believing as one today. We're believing because we're, 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 we're sending your word back to you, God. You said if we touch and agree. You said that if we come together, hallelujah, and we're believing you, hallelujah, because you're not a man that you would lie. Your word is truth, and it won't come back void. God, we believe you for these prayers. We believe in you today. Come on in, saints. We're winding down, and we want to make sure that your prayer request we have all the saints praying the same thing at the same time. God is moving. Hallelujah. Sometimes we take things light. I feel the presence of God. Sometimes we take things lightly. The water is trouble. Step in. Hallelujah. Amen. Those that are struggling with drug addiction and alcohol, God, everyone, even those, especially those in the church, God, they're still struggling with addiction. They're coming to church faithfully, but yet they can't seem to break that yoke. We come against those spirits right now in the name of Jesus. Set free and deliver. Amen. You don't want your children to have any kind of binds or chains holding them back. But we believe in you right now that you'll break that yoke. Amen. Hallelujah. As they come into the hospital, Lord, they will be healed set free and delivered in the name of jesus hallelujah yes we pray for revival we know that there's a move of god Holly, god is even moving right now Holly, i believe god there's a breakthrough for all of those hallelujah that's on the line today and those that we have before god we agree amen and god is faithful in spite of us god is faithful and i thank god for his faithfulness amen in the name of jesus that's it in the name of jesus hallelujah we want god to be glorified this morning amen saints even as we come together my prayer for today is that our faith goes to another level even as we go along the day god Remember these prayers, saints. God, let's bind together and keep people up in prayer. It's so important this Thursday, even as we come before a holiday weekend, that we pray and, and keep those that we love before the Lord. Amen. So that they won't be hindered, that they won't have an accident or something won't happen. It's for us to stand in the gap. We are our brothers and sisters keeper amen even as we're winding down come on we have time for a few more prayer requests hallelujah i just believe god i believe this wasn't for nothing praying for co-pastor deborah Eccles. hallelujah for her mobility god touch those limbs hallelujah as you as jesus prayed for the cripples we're praying believing that you're going to touch her body lord that she's going to be able to move in spite of the situation, Lord, we're believing you even the more. Hallelujah. And it's going to be a testimony of victory. <clears throat> Hallelujah. And we're believing God that one morning we're going to be at the breakfast table and we're going to hear a testimony of her deliverance and all of those that we pray for this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember, as they went they were healed hallelujah you may not see it right away but believe god hallelujah believe 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 god these prayers are hallelujah reaching heaven's gate and god has sent the answer on the way and i thank god amen i thank god for everybody that's on this morning i thank god for your faith and your love i thank god for all my brothers and sisters Amen. It's, it's 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 just wonderful when we as the saints of God can come together with one mind and one spirit, knowing that God is hearing us. We have the faith to believe that God is going to do exactly what he said. And when you can back it up with the word of God, hallelujah. Remember, Matthew, as you go along today, Matthew 18, 19 through 20. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything, that they shall ask it shall be done for them and my father which is in heaven 
Hallelujah. For where two or more, where two or more are, I'm sorry, where two or more are, are, are gathered together, Jesus is in the midst. I pray that you had a good day. I pray that you've been blessed of the Lord. And once again, I say, go touch somebody and let them know that Jesus loved them. Be blessed and have a good day.